In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This is the first and by far the most important claim that the Bible will ever make. And those who hear it, this is the claim that they must wrestle with, avoid, or ultimately accept for the rest of their life up until their final breath. The very first statement of the Bible, Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, when you look at this statement closer, you see that the God of the Bible is making a claim that he is the sole author of time, space, and matter. Time in the beginning, space, the heavens, matter, the earth. You see, this claim alone reveals God's rightful ownership and sovereignty over everything and anything that falls into the reality of time, space, and matter. That's everything you can see, everything you can touch, everything you can feel, taste, and smell. Now, for those of you who have never read the Bible in full, I want you to understand this from Genesis 1-1 all the way to the end of Revelation 22-21. The reader is taken on a journey to discover one crucial and central idea. That idea is simple. Who is God? Not generally, not vaguely, but specifically, who is God? Now, whether you like it or not, the God of the Bible is a complete relational being. He is relational based off of how he designed creation itself. He is relational based off of his own interaction with humanity throughout human history, which culminates with Jesus entering into time, space, and matter some 2,000 years ago. See, there is nothing distant or aloof about the God of the Bible thanks to the revelation of who Jesus is. Now, in order to truly know someone, to truly have a relationship with someone, you must be very familiar with two things, what they actually say and what they actually do. Thus, an exercise of reading the Bible is a quest to discover the very character and nature of who God is based off of his words and his actions. Now, when you approach the Bible with this task in mind, you will finally start asking the right questions and you will finally begin to see the right answers that your heart desires to understand. Now, if I take you to the very last claim of the Bible, it's from Jesus and Jesus says this, yes, I am coming soon. Now, if you claim to be a Christian and you have never read the Bible in full, never committed yourself to learning and understanding, I would challenge you to start today. Because one day, either you're going to stand before a stranger or you're going to stand before a friend. But either way, you're going to stand before Jesus who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords because Jesus is God.